Hi, I'm Sam from Website Right. Have you ever seen those websites whereby you click a button and then it scrolls nicely down the page to a section of the site that it's targeting? I think it looks really cool. Sometimes you can click and it just jumps to the section, but I love that smooth scrolling effect. But the way that works is that you've got a little anchor bit of code in the section that you want it to target. And what it does, it lines it up with the very top of the browser. So when you click it, it just jumps and puts that section at the top of your window. Works very well, apart from if you've got a sticky menu. Uh, now, when I say sticky menu or sticky navigation, I mean this, right? You scroll down and then it stays at the very top of the page. Uh, that's really good for usability because users can get to where they want really quickly. But of course that then throws the scrolling link slightly out of sync because if you're targeting a section that then has to align with the top of the page, of course your menu is at the top so you need to kind of offset it a little bit. So there's a WordPress plugin that you can download that makes it work really nicely. Have a look at this. So this is the website that I'm going to be using as the example in this video. It's a great company from Manchester called Untapped Potential, and I'm nearly finished with the website. Um, but on this page here, there is an anchor link, but we'll go to that shortly because you can see when we scroll down, we've got this sticky menu at the top, which is really handy for getting to the pages that we need to get to without having to click up to the top and then find the links. It just follows you down, which I think is really great. Um, now we do have an anchor link on the site, which is this button here that takes you down to show this gray section. Now usually what would happen, this gray section would align with the very top of the page, but as you can see, it would go underneath this menu here, because this isn't considered the top where you've got the little gradient here is the very top of the browser. So if we click, it scrolls straight down. Now, as it happens, I've got such a big margin here, it doesn't quite matter. So it does align relatively nicely, but firstly, it doesn't nicely scroll. And if we did have text at the very top of this section, it would get hidden by the menu, of course. So. What we're going to do is we're going to get this plugin called hash link scroll offset if you download it from your plugin section of wordpress just go to add new and then find it and then install and activate hash link scroll offset now what this will do it will put a extra section in your general settings area at the very bottom here where it's got a hash link scroll offset and this is the amount of pixels that your sticky header is in height now if you don't know what this is and you're relatively familiar with using google chrome or firefox and using the, the element inspector just click on any bit of blank area of that header section and then click inspect and what you'll see is you can see the height here now this is the width and then you've got the height and that's where i got the 64 from so that means that once i put it in 64 and then click save changes if we're then to refresh the website firstly when i click the button it will scroll nicely which is great but secondly, it will line this gray section up with under the navigation rather than the top of the browser window like that. And you can see this right here. Look at that lovely, smooth scroll. So that is how to do it. If you found this helpful, do click the thumbs up and maybe give me a subscribe because I give WordPress tips every so often and hopefully I can help you out in future. All the best.